about, um, it sounds like you, your operations is going fabulous. And I just wanted to hear more a little bit as we go through the uh, uh, interview about your operations, how many people you have working or playing. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to find out what organizations are working with to support you guys. Okay. Uh, the organizations that support us is is actually all of them. Uh, and I say all of them, your uh, aquariums, um, the, the various aquariums, hospitals out there that we take the turtles to. Uh, the only government agencies that support us are U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and NOAA Fisheries. Um, none of these agencies or organizations support us with funding, though. All this is done through the nonprofit Turtles Fly Two. Okay. Uh, you know, something we depend on, rely on uh, for donations. But um, there is no one within Turtles Fly Two that is paid a salary. Uh, fundings are usually uh, used for, uh, like our website uh, and all the costs associated, a database. Um, you know, we have. Um, uh, oh gosh, our database of pilots is is right up there at 500 now. Uh, so we, you know, and and when you're talking about the, the pilots and the aircraft, when a mission comes in, what I do is match up the type of aircraft I need and where the turtles are going to be going and how many. So Leslie, um, do the excuse me, do the pilots bring their own plane? Is that how it works, or do you guys? They bring their they bring their own aircraft. Okay. Yep, they have their own aircraft. And you supply um, the funding for the fuel, or they may be donated. Well, it, it that's something that we're working on. Uh, with the FAA, it's illegal for us to pay them because they are not commercial pilots, or is the aircraft uh, commercial aircraft? Uh, these are private. Uh, gen, what they call general aviation aircraft part 91 but this is this is something that we are working on uh matter of fact we've actually got two attorneys who called me up this past uh fall and said leslie is the government paying you anything and i says no and they says we, we need to uh, work on that and uh, i says how are you gonna do that well we're gonna work on special legislation and, okay go for it because we certainly need it. Can you was looking at the plane behind you? You got the, you know, the the wrap behind you. And I was curious, how many turtles fit in the plane? I mean, how many have you guys have put in there? Uh, that particular one, we can put about fifty in. Uh, we generally pack them in banana boxes on the camps. Uh, larger turtles, we we have different crates we use, but for the camps. Uh, the size of them and the size is like imagine a, a dinner plate that's the size of the camps they're not that big they're small these are what we call juvenile turtles so we pack them anywhere from one to two to a banana box it weighs less than 10 pounds and away they go we take them to various facilities matter of fact the last the longest distance facility i just took some to uh was part of the Cayman, what I call the Cayman 10 bunch. Um, and that was all the way out from, out to, from Orlando uh, to Arizona. But from the Cape Cod area, we take them all the way down to Texas. Uh, we do Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Georgia, there at Terry's Place at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center, uh, all the way down to uh, the Keys, Marathon, the Turtle Hospital down there, um, all all the all the hospitals that we work with in Florida uh, and in Mississippi has been taking a number of them for, for us, and then down in Texas we take out to Texas uh, a number of facilities in Texas. So, you know, you're you're, you're talking quite a distance, and uh, the type of aircraft I need for these is they've got long range uh, and, you know, can fly there in a, well, within the day, put it that way. Uh, generally it takes uh, just to go from Cape Cod down to Florida with a fast plane, it'll take five hours. Hmm. So we just, we just get it done. Then you have all your weather constraints you got to work with uh, headwinds and um, you know, some serious weather during the winter months that we, we always are working with. 
um, it's just to give you an idea, a 300 mile an hour aircraft on with headwinds might cut them down to 200 miles an hour. So, you know, we have to deal with all that.